Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Payne and welcome back to another anime review video and finally, for the first time in weeks, it is not a video about My Hero Academia. I know, I know, there, there's the two heroes, but you know, I, right now I just needed a little break from the show because I put so much time and effort into the last three videos. I've put like months of effort into the scripts and then I've put a considerable amount of time into the videos, especially editing, considering that I have school on the side as well. And for anyone who's seen my social media, I've been trying to hide it on this channel, but I don't think I could hide it anymore. I helped out with my high school football team, so I've also been doing that on the side as well. And with those few things out of the way, here is the first show of a few, not all though, that I'll be reviewing that just ended this past anime season. Uh, I'll be reviewing other shows, not counting this one, such as uh, Asabi Asobase, my favorite show, Island, Angels of Death, and Cells at Work, but this will be the first one, and it is the one, the only, Chio School Road. Chio School Road, aka Chio Chan no Sugakudo, or Chio's Commute to School, is a comedy anime directed by Takayuki Inagaki. It was made by the studio Dio Madea, who has also made some other so shows, such as shows with the word girl in them, such as Aho Girl and Squid Girl. Uh, Geo School Rogue came out in the summer of 2018 and consisted of 12 episodes. The entire premise of the show follows a girl named Chio Miyamo as she tries to get to school without being late, but the more she goes through her usual route of going to school, the more weird shit that happens to her, whether it's regarding her friend, uh, the leader of a biker gang, or the fact that because she plays a lot of video games, particularly shooter games that people over here in America play, she can climb onto buildings and do parkour either because she needs to get to school or for her own personal reasons. I, I don't know, it's really hard to specify because it's a different reason every time. And considering that each episode is broken up into two or three different stories, the show gives us updates on different plot points that are picked up and then put to the side for another episode. Watching Chio School Road felt like watching an experimental humor flick where the show tests the limits of its comedy. How far can it go? I'm not gonna lie, this show is very self-aware about what it's doing and is not afraid to express it. Geo is an avid gamer with an avid imagination, with every episode being impractical and almost surreal-like in a comedic fashion. I had no doubt that the series would be popcorn entertainment. But to my surprise, it's the form of popcorn entertainment that deserves more than just a thumbs up. The various video game references is clear while we see Chio go to school in a peculiar fashion. It breaks the boundaries of normalcy as the series tries to stretch its humor at every opportunity it gets. If comedy is what you're looking for, this will definitely be a crowd pleaser 100%. The key part of the series lies in its ways to sell the comedy, not just the comedy itself. Beyond just the absurd humor of the everyday misadventures of Chio Miyamo, the characters do the selling with their personalities and actions, the other characters. Chio often defies common logic and applies her video game experiences to real life. This comes from an experience she gains from games that involve stealth, parkour, fighting, etc. It seizes every chance it gets to demonstrate Chio's personality and capitalizes on them to the absolute fullest. Joining Chio in the show is Manada Nonomura, who happens to be her best friend. She's also a character that I describe as anti-normal. You'll often see the pair together, and when they are, shit goes down very quickly. In fact, their personalities are even similar despite their different interests. Both characters make their everyday life events look larger than life. The amount of absurdity is enhanced thanks to Chio's video game experience such as stealth, and fighting and parkour, and in an early episodes she even uses her skill to remain undetected from a neighbor while being sneaky in an Assassin's Creed style. The show also loves to exaggerate the game of comedy. <laughs> oh my god. The show also loves to exaggerate the game of comedy. For people who don't know, comedy is another is a certain sport in Japan as Shio and Mana treat it like it's life or death. As we are also introduced to the captain of the comedy club, Madoka Kushitori, who also pushes her passion of the game to an absurd level. That being said, I think the comedy level in this show speaks for itself by the time you reach the third or so episode. By then, you'll really understand this show's ridiculous comedy. While the main duo of Chio and Manana carries a good amount of the series, other characters also come into play. They amplify the jokes in the show that ranges from forbidden romances to hilarious sexual innuendos. And believe me, when you keep, when you keep watching the series, it actually gets more uncomfortable thanks to these very sexual innuendos. To be fair, this series is like a joke of itself, but it knows what it's trying to be. 
In other words, viewers should really understand their reasons to watch this show in the first place. If it's for an actual plot or in-depth character study, then this is the wrong place to go to. Take this show like a gift that's ready to be opened and surprise you in ways you'll probably never be ready for. Actually, a little fun fact about this show, this show was originally scheduled to air in the spring of 2018. It got delayed for a full season, so I assume it was due to production issues, but nonetheless, the anime maintains a colorful balance of its character designs and setting. It's not hard to spot the video game references if you're familiar with franchises like Pokemon Go, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Payday, Bioshock, Assassin's Creed, etc, etc. There are so many. And what really made me laugh was the character expressions. It's exaggerated to maximum effect and often looks far more ridiculous than they should be. One really good example of this is Chio, as she is the main culprit of this as she makes a huge deal out of situations such as sneaking at night to play video games, which is where the Payday reference comes in getting into an emergency to use the bathroom, or just being anything but normal, so basically every goddamn episode. This expands to her friend Manana and other characters who take advantage of all the humorous shit that goes down. There's also some shameless fan service in the show, such as pole dancing and delirious delusions. There's also a third character, Yuki, who also makes an example of being a sporty girl with an athletic body as she is part of the school's cross-country team, I think it was? And even in the final episode, spoilers, Yuki goes on about how she likes running nude. Yeah, that, that, that's how far this show goes. For a show with so much humor, I'm also convinced that the characters were able to deliver their lines flawlessly. The dialogues matches with the character voices that always sound over the top, they always sound over the board. Sometimes it makes me replay certain scenes just to see how far the voice actors seem to be enjoying themselves in their roles. And even the theme song of the show is just so well made that it does what it's intended to do, which is to deliver popcorn entertainment in the first few seconds when you press play on the episode. Looking back at this show really makes me wish that my high school years were as fun as Chio's. Keep in mind, I'm not even done with my high school years yet. Who knows, it may be as fun. Uh, every day becomes a story adventure that never ceases to amuse me. From day one, Chio and the character cast made the best of its humorous elements and never looked back. It doesn't need a concrete plot to sell its ideas because that's really not what this show is about. In other words, just watch this show with an open mind and think of how free it is. And with that, using my free mind, which I haven't used since I'm pretty sure Dragon Maid, I'm gonna give Chio School Road a nine out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my Chio's School Road review video. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more anime review videos, hit the subscribe button either on the screen or down below. And if you want to see any anime review videos that I've made in the past, there's going to be a few on the screen, as well as more on my channel down below. And with that out of the way, once again, guys, my name is Payne, and we'll see you in the next video.